Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I wanted to share my review and different application methods of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow whatever product this is. <laughs> it's not a foundation, it's sort of like a... It's a new product in and of itself. Let's just put it at that. You can use this as a primer, you can use this to mix it in with your foundation, or you can use this as a highlighter, which are the three different application methods that I'm going to be reviewing today. I've already tried this product a few times and I know that I do like it, but I just wanted to see how the different methods of application compare with each other. I know that this product is very versatile. You can use it in many different ways. So I just wanted to compare the different ways with each other and depending on what look you're going for, which application method you need to use. So if that's something of interest to you, then without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so as I mentioned before, I'm going to be doing half of my face where I apply the product all over my face first and then go over it with foundation. And then the other half of my face, I'll be mixing in the product with my foundation and then afterwards I'll rinse my face and then reapply my foundation and then just use this as a highlighter no no and then no and then no and then, and then. And then. to compare and see how the three different methods of application look so I have used this already in the past a few times and I know that I do like this product but I just wanted to see and compare the different methods of application to kind of test which method I think looks best on me and maybe that allows you to decide for yourself too. So this is the side where I'm applying the product straight to my face. And I'm being generous with it just so you can truly see the differences. I don't know if it picks I think it does pick up on camera. So this side, it's very slightly, very slightly evens out the skin tone and sort of blurs the redness on my face. But it's pretty Tin Man looking-y. So I don't know if I would necessarily wear this on its own the way that I applied it. If I were to apply it kind of more concentrated in places where I want to look shiny and highlighty, then maybe I could wear it on its own, but not all over the face like this. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more. Yeah, so that evened it out a bit more as well, but it also made it more shiny. See, it looks pretty metallic. And then for the second half, I'll just apply it to my hand like that. And then I'll just mix in the peach, the Too Faced Peach Perfect um, Comfort Matte Foundation. And then I'll use the other side of the sponge to blend it out. Okay, so right off the bat, I can notice that it highly sheared out the foundation. Because this is a pretty high medium coverage foundation. I'm just going to apply another layer. If you want to see this foundation without the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter underneath, I did use this same foundation in my um, everyday makeup tutorial or everyday quarantine edition makeup. I'll link it up in, the, in this video so you can see how this foundation looks without this product underneath. Or sorry, without this product mixed in. So it definitely gives a very beautiful lit from within glow to this foundation. 
because it's a pretty matte foundation and I didn't have any primer underneath. I only had my skincare routine and if you want to check out my skincare routine, you can also find it up in the eye or in the description box below. I do like this. I like it mixed in. Okay, now I'm just going to apply the foundation alone to this side of my face. I forgot which side. Doesn't matter. On this side, the foundation has lost less coverage, but the finish is pretty similar. So I applied just one layer on this side of only the foundation, and I feel like the coverage is the same, while on this side I applied two to three layers of the mixture. And I think the amount of glow is the same on both sides. I like that it makes the product that versatile, so you can use it if you want more coverage or if you don't want more coverage. It kind of gives your foundation's new life in a sense that you don't have to go buy a less coverage foundation or a more dewy foundation. You can just have your matte full coverage foundation and then have this product as well. Mix them in when you want lighter coverage or you can apply the product first and then apply your foundation after to maintain the same coverage that your foundation has, but change the finish of your foundation. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply the rest of my makeup and then I'll give you my final thoughts on these two methods of application. And then I'll go rinse my face and then we'll do this all over again. Okay, so my thoughts on these two methods of application are that it proves just how versatile this product is. You can apply it before your foundation, let it set for a little bit, and then apply your foundation over top. You won't lose any coverage of your foundation, it'll just convert your matte foundation into a very dewy, very glowy from within look foundation. Or you can mix this in with your foundation and then it also converts a fuller slash high medium coverage foundation into a more natural coverage foundation. So 
I think this product gets a lot of points for its versatility. So I'll just go ahead and rinse this part of my skin where I apply the base product and then I'll come back, apply my foundation on its own and then use this as a highlighter. One moment, please. We're back. I rinsed my skin and I look very weird right now. I only have moisturizer on. So I'm just gonna apply my foundation. I'm gonna apply my bronzer, my blush, and then I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter as a highlighter. Okay, so I applied the same milk bronzer and milk cream blush as I did before. And I applied the same lip combination as before. So now all we have to do is apply the highlighter. So this is how it looks like just applied as a highlighter and I I like all three ways. All three methods. I love them. I love this product. It's very good. It doesn't have any chunky glitter in it. It's just like I'm glistening and I'm glowing from within. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a Hollywood flawless filter for a superstar youth glow. That's exactly what it is. Using it on its own but in pinpointed locations, using it mixed in with your foundation using it before as a primer, using it just as a highlighter. I think all kind of four methods of application are great. And it shows how versatile this product is. It shows how, yes, this is a pretty big bottle for a highlighter, but you will probably get through it because there are so many ways that you can use this. If you have one solid full coverage matte foundation, you can completely convert it into something else with this product. Okay guys, congratulations, you have reached the end of this video. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that my review was helpful for you and me showing you all the different methods of application was also helpful. Please leave any questions that you have or any video recommendations that you have down in the comments below. You can follow me on Instagram. You can also, if you enjoy these types of videos, subscribe to my channel. It would really helped me out a lot and also like this video if you enjoyed it so yeah i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day see you in my next video bye